Hello everyone, this is Hammertron here with a new action figure review for you. This time I am reviewing the Fortnite solo mode Bandolier. This is based on the Epic Games Fortnite. This is made by Jazzwares. This is a 4 inch scale action figure. Solo mode, meaning that it's only the action figure, well, plus a harvesting tool and a little base plate there. So it comes in this uh, solid plastic uh, package with a little bit of cardboard with a picture. Let's take a look at the back here. Here, no, no shirt, no problem. And then cross sell of the other action figures in this wave. This came out in 2018. It says 2018 somewhere around here. And I got this in a, well, either in a store or through an online store in 2020 or 2021. And it's an interesting package. It's all plastic. There's the top. There's the bottom. It has some little information catalog in there. One side and the other side. So with this kind of package, the only way to get to it is to cut it. But once it's cut, it'll be kind of hard to put it back together. I think I will maybe try to cut down here uh, along the bottom, lift up the plastic, and then maybe I can pull the action figure tray out. So in a moment, I will open this up and review the action figure itself. Here is Bandolier out of the packaging. Let's take a look at the dimensions of this action figure. We can see he stands at about 4 inches tall or 10 centimeters tall. And let's take a closer look at this action figure. Here's his head. He has some hair on top with a bandana and then he has some sunglasses on. Looks like a little goatee there. And when I first saw the action figure, I thought he was wearing some sort of camouflage outfit, but according to the quote, it says no shirt, no problem. So I guess he has no shirt. He just has some paint on his body there. And he has this uh, bandolier. So that's why he's called bandolier. So it's a rubbery piece that's just uh, put on over the head and the arm there. So it looks nice there. And here we have an extra rubbery plastic piece that's attached to the arm here. Some sort of um, very sophisticated watch or some other electronic device on his wrist. And there's the hands. So some more paint on uh, the arm there. And interesting uh, belt across the abdomen. And looks like an extra piece here kind of glued onto the leg, but it does not get in the way. And here's some shin guards and some boots. And the boots have treads on them. And then the peg holes on the front part of the foot and not the heel. And if we look, it looks like the peg holes are kind of a hexagon shape rather than a circle. So here's some more details sculpted into the legs there. Some straps holding the shin guards on. And the straps have been painted around this leg here. And back here there's a little peg hole for a back bling or something. So they did put a lot of detail into such a small action figure. Let's take a look at the dimensions here. No, not dimensions, the articulation. Alright, so he can look down just a little bit. Maybe not much at all really. And then he can look up that much and turn side to side just a little bit of tilting and the arms go out 
Very nice. Now there's a, a soft ratcheting in the shoulders there. So that's nice. And they can go around. Now, I don't like having them go around because it's just not a natural movement for human beings, but it's an action figure, so we can do that. And the elbows bend, but it's not at 90 degrees. It's a single jointed elbow, but that's as far as it'll go. Less than 90 degrees. And there's a swivel at the elbow. And the wrist can turn. And there's a hinge. This one moves pretty easily. There's a little ratchet, soft ratcheting in the wrist there. This one should turn, but it's a little stiff. I don't want to push too hard. I'll just be, I'll just have to maybe warm it up and see if that loosens it up. I just don't want to break it. And there's a diaphragm cut there. You can crunch forward just a little bit and back that much. Yeah, not too bad. There is a waist cut which turns a little bit. There we go. I could maybe push more, but I really don't like pushing too hard on action figures. And I don't think I need a whole lot of articulation there anyway. And we'll do the splits. Not too bad. And we'll kick forward. Like that. And that's as far back as the legs will go. There's an upper thigh twist on both sides. And then double jointed knees. I think this one can go a little more. There we go. Yeah, not too bad. And the ankles can go down. Hmm. Okay, this one goes down. This other one's a bit stiff. Now, I'm not going to keep pushing, but this one will go up a little bit. So this ankle is not moving for me. I'll have to look at it more closely sometime. And we have ankle pivot. So, I'm a little disappointed about that ankle there. But at least all the other joints are working. And we have a peg hole. So, we finally have a use for the peg hole in the feet. Here is a standing plate. It's a building piece like some of the others so we can connect it with some other pieces this one is made of wood and here is a circular peg where we can put the action figure on it there we go that's what the bottom looks like so we can have him standing there although he can stand on his own but this is nice we can move them around and put them in different poses if we like. That'll work. And then the harvesting tool, this is called Chomp Junior. It's an interesting harvesting tool. It looks like it's a spear and it's a little shark on a spear so they painted the teeth on it so that's nice. So it looks nice. So, I normally put this in this hand here. We want to be careful with the fingers. The fingers are just a little bit pliable. So we can squeeze it in there. Somehow. Hmm. Seems to be a little tough here. There we go. No, it's not quite working here. 
a little tough at this angle with me behind the camera doing this in front of the camera but we should be able to get his fingers around it make sure it gets between the fingers and the thumb No, no, I keep pushing in on the thumb there, and the thumb's a little bit pliable. So I gotta be more careful than that. There we go. There we go. Takes a little bit of work, but you do want to be careful with the uh, thumbs. It is a little bit pliable plastic because it's a thin piece, but it's a little bit rubbery so that we can put the harvesting tool and weapons into the hands. So this is interesting. I like how this looks because this wooden um, base plate to have the action figure stand on kind of looks like it's a, a little wooden raft and bandolier is in the in the oceans or in the sea fishing and he caught himself a little shark to eat so looks like a, a neat little action figure set here let's do some size comparison so here is bandolier next to the four inch action figure from the animal planet set i reviewed a while ago so bandolier looks like he's just a little bit taller he certainly has a lot more articulation here is Bandelier next to Rush Lord from the Lama Drama Loop Pinata. And it looks like they share a lot of parts. You have the legs and the feet and, and well the thighs are the same. The uh, lower leg on one side is the same. The feet are the same. The arms look like they're about the same. So they do share a lot of parts. And here he is with the Legendary Series Enforcer action figure, 6 inch scale. They're both made by Jazzwares. So Enforcer towers over him. And then the Power Rangers Lightning Collection Dino Charge Red Ranger, 6 inch scale action figure. He also towers over Bandolier. So the Hammertron Sledgehammer rating is, I think this is okay. I just had a little trouble with the uh, ankle articulation there. Uh, it's a bit stiff or it didn't want to work and I'm not uh, pushing very hard. Also the wrist was a little stiff but I'm less concerned about that. Uh, the thumbs are a bit soft and pliable so you have to be careful when putting the harvesting tool or weapons in the hands. I do like this particular set uh, with this wooden uh, building piece used as a figure stand and this harvesting tool, Chomp Jr. Uh, every time I see it, it just looks like he's standing on a miniature raft spear fishing and he caught himself something to eat there. So I, I like that. I don't know if that was intentional or not. And I think this would be a good action figure to put in a battle diorama with this uh, bandolier. Just give him some weapons and um, put him in a battle pose and uh, you're good to go. Thank you for watching my review video. Remember to like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with my future reviews. I'll see you next time. Goodbye everyone.